Welcome to Steve Draws. I'm Steve the Groot, Dutch artist. Great news. Procreate 5.2 will be released tomorrow. So on the 1st of November 2021, you can upgrade to Procreate 5.2. I make this video uh, because it's very important if you do upgrade that you back up all of your files. And in this video, I'm going to explain several ways of uh, backing up all of your files. So the images you worked on, the brushes and maybe the palettes you want to save or brushes you bought, maybe you bought some brushes from me or uh, other artists and you want to save them, that's always you know, a good practice to back them up. So in this video I'm just going to explain several ways to do that. There are several ways you can back up your files in Procreate. First, you need to check if Procreate is set to iCloud. So you need to go to the settings of your iPad, then check if it is selected. You have to scroll down and there you can see all of the files that are backed up in iCloud and it needs to be toggled on. Here you can see Procreate and it is toggled on. If it's not toggled on, just toggle it on and then your files will be updated. It's always best, you know, to back up your files in different ways. You can, of course, when you are uh, in a painting, back it up immediately, go to your actions, share, and then share it um, as a Procreate file, PSD, PDF, JPEG, PNG, or TIFF file. But if you still want to work on it and want also want to save your time-lapse videos, then press on Procreate. Then the file will be exported and then you get a, a new menu. Best practice is always to um, name your files before you export them. Now you can export it through AirDrop, but you can also save it to files. Then it will be redirected to Procreate immediately. What I want to do is select on my iPad and make a new folder. And here you can also name your artwork. Just call it Water Lily. And create a new folder. So press on the plus sign and then call it Procreate Backup. Then press on Done and Save. And that, then it will be saved to a folder. But, you know, when something happens to your iPad or if your entire iPad crashes, it's always better, you know, to save it to uh, Dropbox or any other uh, format or any other computer. So if you have a Mac computer, you can use AirDrop to save it, or you can also save it to Dropbox. You can also save multiple files. Press on select on the top, and then you can select the files you want to save. Then press on share, and there you can choose the image format. I'm just going to share it as, as a PNG. And then you can go to AirDrop or immediately save. Uh, I have another iPad, so I can save it to my iPad and just uh, send it through my other iPad. That's the fastest way to uh, save files through AirDrop. You can also save it to your... Um, Photo library, just gonna save it as a PSD and then you can save it to your files app. Best practice is to, uh, when you press on save to files to create a new folder and I've called it Procreate Backup. And well, then it's saved to your iPad. So when your iPad crashes, then you'll lose everything. So it's always best, you know, to share your work and back up your work on a different device. 
Also, don't forget to uh, back up your brushes. So if you have bought any brushes or have made your own brush set, just press on the brush set, then on share, and then you can share it to another device or to um, another iPad or your MacBook. I'm just gonna save it to my MacBook. Then uh, the brush set is saved to that and then you can all, always back it up when Procreate crashes when you do the update. Most of the time, you know, everything goes well but it's always, you know, safe to, to back up your files. The same goes for your palettes. So if you have a palette, just swipe from right to left and then press on share. And then you can share all of your palettes. If you want to uh, save it, you can save it to files. And I'm just going to select my Procreate backup and then press on save or you can save it through AirDrop to another device. So when you have backed all of your files, uh, you then can update to Procreate 5.2 and you know start painting in 3D. I've made a video about all of the new things to Procreate 5.2 and I'll leave a link below this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a lot of fun with Procreate 5.2. I've made uh, several videos about uh, Procreate 5.2 or one big one and there's another one coming up about 3D painting and there you can check out all the new features in Procreate 5.2. Subscribe if you haven't already and if you'd like this video give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!